Hey, how we how we doing today? So, firstly, it's hot as hell, hence tank top. And secondly, uh, this room is very cluttery, and that's because it's the guest room. And I definitely need to clean this out at some point in time. But who cares? I wanted to make a quick uh video, real quick, about the importance of fun, because like, I I find that like the end route after like thinking of everything everywhere all at once good movie by the way i'm not talking about the movie i'm talking about literally thinking about everything not only can like really not help with sleep because you're just constantly thinking but it can really hinder fun and this kind of popped into my mind a little bit ago after i kind of had to after i i had <laughs> this kind of popped into my mind a little bit after i had genuine like consistent fun recently which is it's just it's a little sad to admit, but it feels like in the past, like, few years, the fun level has kind of been down. I don't know when it started. Part of me thinks it started, like, around quarantine. Um, like, right when COVID happened, I started making videos. And um, it was a little hobby that I had. And I was like, oh, let's fuck around and have fun. And I actually, it was uber fun. I loved making videos. And I still do to this day. But... As time went on and as I started just thinking about like everything everywhere like all the time like consistently throughout my life I started to like realize how little I knew about anything period that can be hard to accept and, and I, I, I mean there there's a video um, that I'd recommend uh, called letting go that I made and this is kind of the sequel to that I guess letting go is about the process kind of of just letting go of like responsibility and not like not like letting go like like not being responsible like being irresponsible but letting go as in like being able to every so often put yourself into context and kind of like highlight mindfulness in a way because like you can really just like make something that used to be fun really just absolutely hard work for no apparent reason whatsoever and this is kind of a ramble. I had a thought structure to this, but it kind of fucking petered away. But the main takeaway I kind of, I guess I want people to take away from this one is just remember to have fun. I would say, like for me, I would say ever since COVID, it kind of was like a bell curve. But like, I went through a little bit of just constant thought about everything all the time. Like I questioned my scenario in life i questioned my self-worth i questioned what i wanted to do with my life i questioned how i wanted to live my life i questioned why the fuck i was even like wanting to do the things that i wanted to do in the first place and i forgot the motivator for it and that was that i thought it was fun right now i'm studying to be a sound designer and sound is something that I absolutely do love, regardless of what mind state I'm in right now. Like, sound is something that is amazingly cool to me. And it, it always has been and it always will be. But I think it's like, the more you just, I don't know what it is. I don't fucking know. You know what? It's just more comforting for me to say, I don't know. And you know what? That's honestly the truth. Because like, the more I try to figure out shit... The more I try to be like, oh, I'm this way because of this. And then like later I find out that like, wait, no, it's not that. It's this. No, wait, it's this. No, it's this. And you'll never know. The fucking life and you are a constant changing machine that no one will ever fucking fully understand. I won't, I won't fully understand that. And I don't think, I think maybe some fucking guru at the top of like a mountain in Tibet may know everything, but I certainly don't. It's not, it's not comforting, but it's like, it's humbling in a way, you know? Because you, you, you bring yourself back down to earth and you're like, oh, hey, other human that knows kind of similar stuff that I know. How you doing, man? And no one has like the illusion of superiority any, anymore. Or like, my self-worth is more than your self-worth because I know more or because I've done more or because I've seen more. You know what I mean? Like, I think people very much get sucked into 
the rabbit hole of inferiority and superiority and where they stand there and they make themselves sad for no fucking reason whatsoever for illusions illusions of grandeur smoke and mirrors there are people who just convinced the fuck out of themselves that like i have everything figured out they don't they don't because i i tried that i tried like there were certain things that i'm like i know this i get this i understand this this is the thing this makes sense to my theory of life and then i like zoom out and i'm like wait no this is just one perspective out of trillions and endless actually infinity perspectives but like that's okay that's completely okay that's like that's why children are s fucking so happy and have so much fun because they know that <laughs> you, know? you know like people grow up and it's like you you, you learn a bit more but like you don't learn that much nothing really sticks until later i don't know i'm fucking 20 hell i'm a baby i guess that's the main thing i want to say here is that like everything does matter though that is something that i do truly believe in and that like your actions do matter and your impact does matter to quote a video another video i made called our, our worlds we nurture um you control nothing but influence everything and i think your influence is something that you truly do have control over and you need to be very mindful of what that influence is don't fucking the if don't take away nihilism from this please please do not become a nihilist because of me i'd rather not that happen if there is anything that is pointless it is nihilism to lose all complete faith in yourself and like this world because you are just trying to you think purely logical is innately like not human or not not it, it is human but it's like you need to come back you know like like a big part of it is fun once you remember what fun is and then like that 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 is the like, I don't know if people realize this, but fun is a gigantic motivator. And there are certain things that you can easily start off to be fun and then later isn't fun. And you can be okay with that and just fucking flow with the wave of time. Or you can kind of just be like, wait, why isn't this fun anymore? Is it a false perception that I have? Or is it because like people aren't making it fun? Is it because of my situation? There was something fun about it. What was fun? Why did it go away? Like, I think people forget that just have fun and just to do things that are fun and to do things that like you want to do i think also there's another aspect to that which is just kind of following like the flow of life and not like like you can stray pretty far from it but just be wary of how you feel when you stray far from just like like when you deny how you're feeling for so long and you stray far or far far away like, just be wary about how you feel and just make decisions that are responsible, but also healthy. But thank you so much for watching. This has been thoughts around fun and the importance of fun. And also, here's another thing. You remember, you know the game Sims 4? For some reason, I didn't play it until a very long, like, for a large percent of my life. Like, that wasn't a game. I know there are a lot of people who pick it up, like, when they're younger. I didn't play it for a while, and then, like recently i think it was when i was like a year ago or i was like oh yeah i've never played this game let's try it out and it's really fun and i've been playing it from time to time now but like there's also a need in the sims called fun like that's a fucking human need that has been put in there and i think if the, the longer you deny fun like the fucking worse you're gonna feel have fun that's a big part of it and sometimes it's hard when you're in just that constant mental state of like i don't have something figured out i need to figure it out now blah, blah 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 i was in that too and that's happened to me before and there have been times when i have just couldn't exit that state until i figured something out and then when i did figure it out i realized like a few days later that like oh wait no that that's like a tiny thing of a much larger picture and like it's it's you don't give up but you kind of more entrust that you don't know as much as you think you know and the more you try to think and the more you fucking um try to just summarize life and being and whatever the hell this is the more you realize 
just how little you know. If one quote has made sense my entire life, it's that one fucking Socrates quote in Civ V. When you, when you build the oracle, there's like a quote that pops up. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to look it up real quick. Oh, yeah. The ancient oracle said that I was the wisest of all the Greeks. It is because I alone of all the Greeks know that I know nothing. That's like the most comforting shit I've ever heard in my entire life. That the wisest man, or one of the wisest wise men alive, Mr. Socrates, said this shit. And honestly, it's like, thank God I'm not insane. <laughs> or, not, or like not stupid, you know? Because like the more I try to make sense of everything, the more I try to think like deep upon like anything and everything, um, the more I realize that like shit as soon as I make sense of this thing, there's another thing that pops up. Or this thing doesn't make sense with this thing. This puzzle doesn't make sense with this puzzle. It's like you can think forever. You can be in that state for so long. And it's like you can. If you want to, you can. But just my one recommendation is try to have fun. Remember what fun is. And I honestly don't know how I exited that state to have fun again but I have been having like a shit ton of fun recently and it has been just like great like I mean I've had I've had fun before but like this fun is like heightened in some weird way and I don't entirely know why and I'm okay with that because I'm in I'm now I'm in a better I'm in a much better state of mind just because I think the end route to constantly thinking and thinking yourself into a hole, once you come out of that, the end route is having fun again. I think you come out of, like, I wouldn't recommend not thinking at all. Thinking a shit ton is way better than not thinking at all. If you don't think at all, like, come on. You need to you need to exit at some point and put some thought into what you're doing every so often. There's a happy medium there. Balance is a huge part of anything, really. But yeah, uh, that has been this ramble of whatever the hell this was. I don't, I don't really know. But I think the one key takeaway that I would like you to take away from this video is have fun. Remember to have fun, kids and adults and people. And I like how I said adults and I just forgot about elders. I don't know. Tell people, have fun, okay? All right. Thank you so much for watching. This has been having fun. I'll catch you later.